Hood Talk News, we on fire. Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? Man, we got Gene Deal back in the hood again today, y'all. Him and Freddie P, you know, they still going at it, you know, you know what I'm saying, on the out of dialogue, man. Shout out to them, you know what I'm saying, for bringing this content. But let's get into it, man. Gene Deal, man. He said he got some words for Freddie P, man. Before we get into some things that you want to talk about, and I know it's your show, it's your program, let me address some things that I need to address first for some stuff that I saw on your program. You understand? Gene um, said he's going to get ready to it. The first thing I want to address is this, and, and the reason I got this throwback Jim Brown shirt on, you know, one of the greatest running backs of all time, and probably one of the greatest people that we know in our lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Not only he was an athlete, he was an educator, and he was about our people. I met him when he was, did the work uh, work release program, and he was sponsoring that in New York State prison system. You understand? He was sponsoring programs here in New York State prison system as well as all over the country. But I want to make this a teaching moment, man. You know, I seen this young cat on your show. I think it's Freddie P from Make Another Band. And he was saying some things that, and, and, and it shocked me because he never addressed or brought me up in anything before. But I guess when, you know, the people deem you hotter than fish grease, everybody want to come and try to get in the frying pan. Fred trying to make a comeback with your name, Gene. God damn it. Fred say, I'm, I'm, I'm a clout chase all the way to the goddamn bank. Fred don't even know why he mad no more. <laughs> you understand? So I want to address this with old boy because he always claimed how gangster he is. When you gangster, you ain't got to tell nobody. They already know what you are. I've been around a lot of gangsters, pranksters, and people, and then people want to say to me that, you know, as me being what I did for a living, I don't supposed to be around people in the streets. I don't supposed to be around people who in the underworld or whatever they do, I wasn't in their business because I knew the easiest thing to do in the world is to mind my own business, and I've always done that. You understand? So let me just say this to you, Mr. Freddie P. And we're going to make this a teaching moment. Okay. You understand? Let me ask you this. How many times did you see Diddy spike some bottles of alcohol and gave it to women? Fred, time for you to start answering, boy. Time for you to start answering. How many times did you see Diddy have sex with underage kids? Where you at, Fred? Where you at, Fred? How many times did you see Diddy beat a woman? How many times did you see Biddy, Diddy bury a body? Oh, shit. Where you at, Fred? How many times? I'm not going to wait for your answer because you're going to say never. Shit, the world thought uh, Diddy and Fred were best friends, boy. Fred mad around this motherfucker, boy. God damn. See, he knew what to do, when to do it, around people that he did it with. And I wasn't one of those people, brother. Today, everybody and they mama then came out. Everybody and they mama then came out and said, who did what, when, where, how, to them. And they have yet said anything about Gene Deal. Hey, you do got a point now. A lot of people that came out, nobody called his name yet now. And let's hope they never call his goddamn name. They, shit, they ain't called him yet though. Other than you internet clowns. Not one victim, not one witness said Gene Deal was involved in any of that. But y'all want to come out here and y'all want to say, yo, I want to see, you know, I want Gene Deal to tell this. I can't tell nothing, man. Listen to me. If you think I'm stupid or blooping, you think I'm that motherfucking... Oh my God, man, I can't even... Do you think I'm an individual that's so dumb that I done did all kinds of dirt with this man and I'm going to come out against him? God damn it, now... Now you, goddamn Gene, I don't know, cause you know, I know you. I, now I don't feel you had no play in the shit. 
But I think, you know, on a lot of shit, you probably just turned the side eye and was like, yeah, hey, look, I'm here to do a job. I ain't got nothing to do with the personal shit that this nigga is doing. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Now, I don't fault you for that shit, but, you know. I just like shooting myself in the fit, foot. Young man, the statements you made, bro, I can't believe it, man. It's like you put your brain in a bird to fly backwards. I look at you sometimes, man, I say, damn, hey. Shorty had a rough, rough life because he put everything into that making the band as if he was going to make it. But Sean Perez said that in front of y'all. It was for the world to hear. He said, if you don't do what Diddy say, or Puffy at the time, none of y'all would ever be in this business. See, the thing about Fred, man, he put all his eggs in one goddamn basket. And when the band didn't work out for him, you know what I'm saying, this shit drove him crazy. You know, and I, and I know niggas like that, you know, that had opportunities. And, you know, y'all know him too. The motherfucker that be at the corner store everywhere you go, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker always talking about what they had back in the day. Boy, you'd have seen me in uh, 75, boy. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that, though. You know what I'm saying? You would have seen me in, in 94 and shit like that. Those type of motherfucking people, they can't let go of where they was once upon a time in their goddamn life. You know, they don't know how to move move on and shit. But I see it just like this, and everybody know this. You know what I'm saying? Like Gene saying, nigga, this shit was... Uh, a TV show thing. Puff got paid to do MTV a goddamn favor. It worked for both of them. He wanted like, you know, he wanted the exposure and all that shit there. You know, so it was a business deal. D- y'all wasn't no artist that, you know, Diddy went out there and goddamn handpicked to the point where he was going to give a fuck about y'all. It wasn't like that. It was an MTV check. So I don't understand why you ain't mad at MTV instead of Diddy, but you know, let's keep going. Because that's how much power he had. Brother, I wasn't under those same guidelines. I had my own money. I went to work every day. It was part-time for me. It was side money, hustling money for me. I feel Gene on that. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't trying to, you know, dig too deep, but... You know, hey, he coming out now. You know what I'm saying? I I really want to know what was, you know, the turning point where he said, you know what, I hate this dude. I'm finna come out and tell it all or, you know, whatever he's doing. I want to know when was the turning point and what made him say the thing, made him come out and say the things he's saying. You know what I'm saying? What what made him so angry to the point where he said, look, I'm finna go out here and tell my story. I'm finna, I'm finna go in on this dude. I want to know what, what the Diddy do to make everything that he felt about him, you know what I'm saying, over the years. One day he just woke up and say, look, I'm finna come out with all of it. I want to know when was the turning point and why was it the turning point to make him come out and say all this type of shit. So I want to say to you, young man, and we're going to make this a teaching moment because you the one claim that you gangster. The easiest thing to do in the world is to mind your own business, man. It ain't got nothing to do with Gene Deal. Gene. Hey, Gene, boy, did in jail saying that same shit about you right now. <laughs> Deal ain't got nothing to do with you. Go and help the authorities and try to figure out something. You're going to wake up with nothing when it comes to being something on me. So, Mighty. Go- yeah, I don't, I don't believe Gene got shit to do with none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, this internet shit is really real, God damn it! I don't know if Gene came out to get his bread up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he running the story and say, hey, shit, it's making me money. I'm going to keep going with it. I don't know. I would like to know. What made him come to this point to where, you know, he just hate Diddy so much and he he's telling all this stuff or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do your thing. I know this is your show, man. Uh, we could go ahead on and we could go through the questions that you want to do, man. And I appreciate you letting me get that, you know, to this young man, man, because, you know, he got no business, you know, putting my name in his mouth. 
about something that he don't know about. And I'm just trying to teach him right now. If Diddy ain't do it around him. Yeah, because, yeah, you know, Fred, I don't think you, Fred, other than that goddamn making a band house, I don't, I don't think you ever, like, really ever been to Diddy house, hung out with him and none of that shit there, I don't think. I don't think y'all would partners, you know, off the show. I think that would just, hey, everybody clock in. We friends when we clock in, goddamn it. When we clock out, we don't know each other. Goddamn it, like Vernell Williams on goddamn uh, the Mar on Martin. When Martin went to goddamn Hollywood and got out there talking about something, hey, man, remember when you invited me out of shit? Man, look at that was just some on-camera shit, man. You know, I ain't really mean that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the Hollywood shit. So I don't, I don't, I don't think, you know, him and Fred really goddamn hung out like that, you know what I'm saying, in real life. And he ain't see Diddy do it? I think Seth, uh, Fred goddamn need more of a goddamn uh, storyline right now. I think he need more of a goddamn storyline. So he's just running with this shit. He like, nigga, I left. Now, I will say that, you know, and we know how the industry is. I will say, yeah, they, they took a lot of money from them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't pay them shit. We know how that shit go. They, yeah, he ain't get paid. But I think re morally responsible, goddamn it, for they goddamn, for them not getting fucking paid. I think his aim should be towards goddamn MTV. Straight up. What makes me, what makes you think I saw? You probably get your money quicker, man. Everybody trying to get Diddy, Fred. There's too many people trying to get him right now. Go on aim at MTV. Saw him do it. <laughs> what makes you think I know where the body's at? And, and, and brother, I just want to say this to you. But see, that's the thing, Gene. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to contradict or go against nothing you saying, right? But it, that it like what what's like what is the problem? You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't know anything, right? And uh, you ain't seen shit. Why? Why? What? What is the reason? You know, I would like to know. You know what I'm saying? I know you probably could you you could have put it out there before. I probably just missed it. God damn it! But you know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen nothing, you don't know nothing. I, I just want to know what what is the reason, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to come at you or nothing. Like I say, I just want to know what is the reason you so mad at him, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know shit, you know what I'm saying? Because if I'm mad at a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the situation like, okay, I seen what this motherfucker was doing. You know what I'm saying? At the time, you know what I'm saying? I was on, I was on some other shit. I, ain't, I went on that, you know reporting nothing to the authorities and shit. But right now I look back at it now, you know what I'm saying? Like some people wake up when they have kids and be like, damn, I can imagine somebody doing that shit to my daughter. Now, you know, I said back in the day I was young and immature, but now looking at this shit now and knowing what the motherfucker done did, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking at him kind of in a fucked up way. I would never let this motherfucker come around my daughter. You get what I'm saying? So I, I just want to know, you know, what the fuck did he do? When was the goddamn turning point when you say, hey, look, I got to get this dude. Do he owe you some money? You know what I'm saying? Something, it's just something, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and I ain't mad at you, bro. You know, you do your thing. But I just want to know, you know, what? what's the real reason? Because I hear you sitting here saying that you don't really know shit. You don't know nothing just like Fred don't know nothing. So I just want to know, you know what I'm saying, what is it? What 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 do you, what do you have to, you know on this motherfucker? You know we we would love to know what the fuck I I ain't I would love to know because I ain't hear the shit. What the fuck you got on this motherfucker? So you know we could be there with you. You know what I'm saying? Like okay, we see why Gene. You know what I'm saying? Man, and these are all the people in making another band. Y'all to Diddy. I heard him say it. He didn't take y'all serious. And it was all for the publicity of MTV. The money he got. Man, that shit. Listen, we all know. I don't know where Fred going with this. Because we already know. This is a part. This is some Hollywood shit, man. You was an actor on a goddamn TV show. It really wasn't about your uh, goddamn music. It really wasn't about talent. They were just trying to sell a goddamn story for TV. Diddy got his check. Went off into the wind, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? All the only thing they did was pay Diddy to say, Yeah, this bad boy. Cause bad boy was hot at the time. Oh, and Diddy was hot at the time. Yeah, just you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross did the same thing. The dude came out, 
uh, one of these artists came out. Uh, I, I forgot the dude's name. It was a, well, it was a dude. I think he was signed to Warner Brothers, right? Warner Brothers, I think Rick Ross had a, a, a label deal with Warner Brothers. So they came and asked Rick Ross, hey, man, can we say one of our artists is a part of Maybach Music to get them off the ground? You know what I'm saying? Rick Ross was like, yeah, okay, hell yeah, we'll let them use Maybach Music. So as soon as the shit didn't work out with Warner Brothers, guess who do the tech? Rick Ross. And Rick Ross was like, man, you know from the beginning you wasn't a Maybach music artist. I was just doing Warner Brothers a favor because I was over there. You know what I'm saying? I had me a label deal over there. But, nigga, I don't owe you nothing. I didn't sign you. You know what the whole deal was. So a lot of times, you know, shit like that happened. Motherfucker just be goddamn, you know, clout chasing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just say, hey, man, fuck who, fuck who is on. He got the bigger name, and, it, and I ain't get paid, goddammit. I got to use some guy's name. Hey, and I don't fall the motherfucker. Get your bread. Get your goddamn bread. But that, you know, there's a lot of questions and shit that I would like to ask these motherfuckers. Like, come on. He was not. And that's not in the favor of Diddy, because we already know Diddy is a goddamn piece of shit, and that's what it is, man. I'm never going to do nothing with y'all, man, like that. He wasn't even feeling it like that, brother. And I'm sorry for y'all. Yeah, no, he wasn't feeling it. But he never took y'all serious. It was all for the publicity of MTV. That's all it was, bro. That's brother. it. That's it. Diddy was falling out I like heard a that motherfucker. For myself. He was falling out like a motherfucker. That's shit. That's how that that was how he was trying to stay relevant, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? He took that. Hey, listen, we're gonna use these guys. Say they uh bad boy, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they really care who they pick that the crowd. You know what I'm saying? They just grabbed what they can grab and just and just went on with the show and did it a couple other seasons. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think, you know, I don't know, man. But hey, Gene made some good points, man. You know what I'm saying? And we don't think Gene got shit to do with that shit, man. We just think, you know, I well, I I'm, I'm gonna say for myself, I would like to know what's the reason. Where did all where did all this shit come about? At where how did this shit start? When you got so goddamn mad at this motherfucker? Cause hey, I want to be in with you, goddamn it. Let me know shit. What happened? You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I just came to bring y'all that like, share, and subscribe to the realest platform on the planet. Hood Talk New. I'm out. <laughs> Yo, yo, we on. We gon' do what? We gon' do what? We come through this bitch and harder than core. Most of the bullshit we tend to ignore. Most of these niggas be snitching, these bitches be tricking for Gucci, best Fendi Dior. Tip to my shooter, he's crap by the door. We turning up just to even the score. We independent, no label, no hand in no favors. That mean we be getting back more. Money goes up, she be dropping it more. Labels be sweating, be knocking on doors. I ain't no slave, you a hater, be turning the tables. Just know who we doing this for. Them niggas that will come through your front door. Just know we trying to get them so much more. We sitting at the table like fuck a favor. If not, what we doing this for? Uh. Don't make a move cause you bound to get shot Ain't no one out here won't issue for clout Don't want no issue, not with you, they dish you Won't undo the pain, mama feel if I die Don't need my little broski asking the why Tell my homies I stay sober, they high What would you do if they crewing up on us like Ooh, sucker shit can't fly I avoid getting high, beauty of the naked eye On point, no lie Real G, say low key, I told all my homies We gon' make it home alive, unapologetic We don't apologize, the niggas I know they gon' ride Any problems, we gon' hit up the guys Fuck you haters, I'm the one you despise ah.